Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. This tutorial will look at how to make a lottery number generator in Excel and how to edit this generator for your purpose lottery. I'm getting a lot of requests for, for different lotteries that handle different number of balls uh, and different permutations, different numbers of results. Uh, so we're going to look at how you can change this existing lottery number generator and what it is made up of. In front of us at the moment we can see six lottery number balls and a button to trigger it. There is a hidden sheet uh, which is where a lot of the kind of functionality is coming from. To see this sheet we can right click on the draw sheet tab and unhide this hidden calculation sheet. Which is where as I say a lot of the functionality is coming from. Now to produce these random balls, there are two columns of functions. If I select these here, the, the font is in white, so they're not visible by default. I'm not quite sure why I bother to do that, <laughs> but they, they seem to be in white. I'll select range A2 to B56, and it's possible 55 numbers, and let's just switch it to a blank font, uh, sorry, a black font, uh, so we can see then in column A we have a rand function which produces a random number between 0 and 1. It's producing the, the randomness of this lottery. And in column B, a formula that produces a unique ranking. Just to make sure that should the same number appear twice in that list in column A, which there is a chance, it will have a unique number. The ball numbers in column C are just entered manually to represent five, 55 possible numbers to come out, five possible balls to choose from for these six. And they are being given a ranking, this is the randomness. So I can see, just scrolling down here, uh, that ball number four is number six. I'm going to switch back to my draw sheet, ball number four is number six. Yeah, and so on. I can see uh, ball number 12 has come out as the sixth ball. The sixth ball is ball number 12. So we can see where it's coming on. These balls are being ranked and then distributed. The top six will be extracted. Uh, yeah, we can see ball number 46 came out second. There's a kind of randomness. Super, so the rand function and the unique ranking are making this happen. We also have numbers 1 to 6. Once again, I'm not too sure why I actually bother to do this, uh, but I've got these six numbers along here, which when we pop back to our draw sheet, each one of these balls has a VLOOKUP function. Please check out the uh, the full VLOOKUP tutorial on computergaga.com to understand it uh, fully. But what it is doing, are, it is looking at the number in E1 of calculations, which just looks at this number 1. So I'm not sure why I didn't just type number one there rather than reference that. It's so looking for it, you know, within the range of B1 to C56 on calculations. So it's looking in this table. So VLOOKUP will look down the first column. That looks down column B for number one. At this point in this example, where is number one? There it is. And our VLOOKUP is returning the second column. So it's returning number 10. From there, it's looking for number one, returning number 10. Yes, yeah, so it's looking at E1, which is number one. In column B, finds it and returns the second column, which has got a 10 in it. That's why 10 is coming back here. There's a VLOOKUP in each doing its job, looking for number two within that same range, bringing back the number. Now, at the moment, if we were to leave this as it was, the RAND function constantly generates. So on the Formulas tab and Calculation Options, manual is selected to make sure this does not continually calculate every time I click. So you've noticed during this tutorial, I keep clicking, the balls are not changing, they will only happen when I click this button, because manual calculations has been set, and when I hit this button, a little bit of VBA code performs the calculations. Just says, calculate this cell, this cell, this cell, this cell, this cell, and this cell, and all of these, all the way down these columns, the RAND and the unique rankings. To see that code, I'll go to the View tab, top half of the Macros button, 
and I'll edit this lottery draw macro. And there is our code. Just saying calculate A2 to B56. Calculate each one of these V lookups. These are these are on the draw sheet. G7, I7, K7, M7. Perform the manual calculation at the click of a button. Okay, so I'm going to close it down with a top X. That's given us their inner workings. It shows the formulas that are there, why these numbers are here, what the VLOOKUPs are doing, and how it is triggered by the button. Let's pretend for a moment that there are 58 possible balls to come out here. I want to edit this lottery number generator to accommodate that. So as I come down the bottom, I'm going to put in, and I don't know why, but I'm going to type it manually, <laughs> the extra three possibles, 56, 57, 58. I will now click on this cell and copy the formula down so I have some random generated here as well. Do not worry that these four are exactly the same, it's because of the manual calculations. They will not be the same, or even if they were, this unit ranking would deal with it when it's go time. I will now copy this down as well, but before I copy it down, Looking at the top in the formula, it's got a fixed reference of 56 here. I now need to change that 6 to a 9 to accommodate the three extra balls. Okay, and then I'll copy it down, and I've just realised I should copy up as well. The others are not looking all the way down to 59. Okay. So they are including that on one fifth row 59 now. I'll then switch to my draw sheet. Each one of these V lookups, also at the moment, only looking as far as row 56. That needs to be 9. Each one will be changed to a 9. Look for row 59. I'm not going to worry about them hashes and what that's trying to tell me at the moment. Okay, I think right last thing, I need to go back to view in the top half of macros, edit this to look at the code, and change that 6 to a 9. So I'm just increasing the range in this example. So if I'm going to close that down, hit my lottery number, generate a button, it all works. And if I keep clicking it, it will now run my, oh, I just saw 50 out in the example, there's a 55, there's a 57, you can see it must be incorporating the new numbers. It did got only up as far as 56 a minute ago, so they're included. So it's just editing the VLOOKUP to increase the range. You know, increasing the numbers here and copying the formulas down, fixing the range here, and then changing the VBA code as well to accommodate it. Now you understand the makings, you know, the inner workings of it. Hopefully if there are similar changes, like it returns seven balls or four balls, you're able to make the necessary changes. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Please check out this lottery number generator. Any problems, drop me a comment. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, take care. Best wishes. Hope you enjoy more of our tips and tricks at computergaga.com.